What's up, guys? We are back with Think of Remote, and we are kicking this episode off with us selling crappy Tony Hibbert, bit of an Everton legend, been there a while, but not really cutting it for me. And also, we have one of our biggest games of this career mode, and it is against Rosenberg. Obviously, the first leg ended 1 1 with our away goal, so we know if we uh, win, guaranteed Champions League football. And we kick it off really well from around. It's going through on goal. Oh, what the hell, man. He actually handballed it, which I thought I'd just show you guys because it was so pathetic. But Teasdale coming close. We were piling on the pressure against Rosenberg because I wanted to come out and win the game. Not resting our laurels on that 1-1 uh, game at the ground. Uh, got my word for muddled up. And Isco makes some like Gareth Bale messy run. But couldn't finish it off, shot it straight to keeper. But it resulted in a penalty. Big moment, Leighton Baines. Can he net his first goal in the Champions League? No. No, he can't. It was a decent penalty, I thought he was going to the corner, just a good save. So, still going through, so it's all good in a minute, but it's nervy, you know, Rosenberg, Nick one. Puts a lot of pressure on us to go and score. There's some of the other results if you want to pause and look at that. And here's some subs. Not much was happening, so we brought on Delafu, Jelovic, and Osman. Uh, hopefully, they can make an impact. And Leighton Bain lining up this free kick. And Rosenberg cheating like rats. But here goes Leighton Baines. Kaboosh! And it takes a flick. And I actually thought that was dipping in, but it wasn't to be. Osman played it, Polinio. Polinio lost possession. Look at the time, lads. Look at the time. They are three on one against Leon Osman. This is insane. Lads, the sweat. The sweat! Robbie Mills! Like a panther or something, I don't know. Beasts it with the save. 85th minute. If they scored then, we'd be going into Europa League, most likely. So that was an amazing save by Robbie Mills. Showing his young potential, only 18, 17, something like that, I don't know. He's rated 71 overall, but he definitely plays like he's higher than that. So, good on the lad. Good on him. I don't know who went through out of these, but there's a result. So, I just thought chuck him in there. And we sell Tony Hibbert, which is good, for like 300k. Which was good. Then we're getting rid of Shane Duffy for 625k. Which isn't too bad. Uh, so, you know, it's about a million for two fringe players. It's not that bad and we have a bit of tired players so I'll bring in some of the other talent we have and I decided to give Delafu a start and you will see in this game this lad proves his worth to this team and he has shown me more and more in each game that he should be playing and not Steven Pina and the first attack goes to Stoke and it also is the first goal Rodrigo somehow they got Rodrigo I don't know how guys a tank and he's playing on Stoke but you know it happens. So that was disappointing to go behind, but you know, we've went behind many times before and we can come back this time. Osman plays it to Yelovic. <laughs> that was crap. Well, maybe missing Leo Baptista out front. Morales makes that run. Yelovic with a nice little spin. He's done him. Kaboosh! I can't tell you how much I thought that was a goal. I was knocking on the door low through most of this game. Yeah, and then we just fail here. But we couldn't find a breakthrough. Then Jelovic again hits the bar. And I was thinking, is it going to be one of those days? But then Delafu shows a bit of magic. Gives it to Jelovic. Jelovic to Isco. Isco. Jelovic. Back to Delafu. Delafu. Sweaty. Golasso. Polinio. Di Brasilia. Who tucks it away? Look at this movement by Polinio. Gets in front of his man. Just steps in. Delafu with an easy little bit of sweat. And there you go, Delafu. Pivotal part in that goal, and that's one-one at half time. Not good enough, but you know we're not losing. We've got back from the one goal, so that's cool. Yeah, it's cool. And uh, hopefully we can push on. Now we got Isco on the ball, showing his talent. Uh, Paulinho plays it out to Delafu. The man has been on fire in this game. Kaboosh! He nets the back of the net. He nets the back of the net. That doesn't make sense. He scores. Yeah. What a beast! And he. Taking it all in from the fans, and he gets congratulated by the players, mainly Leighton Baines. Shanghai is showing his talent. I was told by one of my subscribers, Rory, who you've seen in many of our videos, 
to put this man in, which I have done, and he's delivering like a postman. But instantly up the field, Jonathan Walters <sighs> scores. The man that's like got what was it, two own goals for Chelsea or something in one game, and Mr. Penalty like a retard. That's him. Delafu's at it again, making another storming run. We're needing another goal. Plays it to Paulinho. And Kaboosh! Another assist for Delafu. Another goal for Paulinho. He was meant to be a CDM, but he's playing like a CAM, a CAM, and he's telling his players off like a rapist. He's telling them, I'm a tank, you're a mop. Brilliant goal. And then we decide to go and make some substitution. Yeah. We have quite tired legs, so we bring on Steven Pina. Yes, we do. We bring on M. Gray. And we stick him. No, we don't bring on Gray. Yes, we do. We put him on left, and then we bring on Ross Barkley. Uh, Isco. Oh, oh, it was dipping. It was curling. A little RB for Nessie. Anyway, didn't matter. We got the win. Inspiring performance from Polinio and Delafu to get us to win there. There's Robbie Mills looking he's a tank as well. Good win. 9.5 for Delafu. Correct me if I'm saying his wrong name wrong. Delafu, is that wrong? Is that right? I don't know. And we got an international job offer. Cameroon. I don't think so. Not really feeling being a manager of Cameroon. And it is the transfer midline day. We didn't have too much money to do too much activity, but I thought I would like document it all. You know, all the transfer news that's going going on, like uh, Luis Fabiano may be leaving the club. Uh, Sao Paulo is that. Diego Costa possibly going to Chelsea, as they, you know, they've got some top players. And then you saw Arsenal interested in Higuain, PSG poss possibly getting Mascherano. He's normally at Man United, isn't he? He's at Barcelona for once, he normally leaves to Man United every time. Lazio possibly making a move for Rondon, who's a good striker. Uh, not too much really happening. Transfer deadline, dude! <laughs> and Doi. Something's going on with him. Atletico Madrid managed to keep Diego Costa and Mesherano is going to be staying at Barcelona. But Sao Paulo have sold Wellington them to Manchester United who is a big, big player, big big signing for them. And Gonzalo Higuain, rumours that he may be coming to Arsenal in real life. Well, on FIFA he's made the move for £21 million in this summer window. And Bergdorf also turns down the move for Palmer in mainly the last bit of activity and in that day there was 86 million pounds spent so quite a lot of money spent on deadline day quite a active transfer window and I want to thank you guys for watching hopefully you can hit that like button uh, oh crap league's coming up anyway I'm signing off uh, yeah hopefully you can hit that like button share maybe get some of your friends watching this if you've enjoyed it which I hope you have been quite a good episode action packed please subscribe if you haven't already and peace see you later guys